Hey guys, it is Andrea, and today I'm coming at you with the part one of a haul. I gotta look at something else. This is gonna be like a really, really long haul. Um, so we're just gonna get on into it because I have a, a lot of stuff to show you and I think this is gonna be like a many many multi-part haul so and I might end up just like cutting it somewhere and putting it into another haul so let's go ahead and show you what I have I actually have a lot more stuff like off camera that's so why I'm trying to like organize it because I just have a lot of things to show you so let's go ahead and get into it I'm actually going to show you some of the big stuff first so I can kind of get it out of the way. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is my Planner Society box. The Planner Society does send this to me, so I am so thankful because it's so pretty. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited for next month, which I think they have spots open now, which I don't know by the time that you see this if there will be spots open or not, but... Ooh, next month looks cute because I am all about rainbows and things like that. So this is the box. I don't know if this like came with the box or if this was like just a new product that they threw in here. But this is like really interesting to me. So I'm going to open it. I haven't opened any of this stuff, I don't think. Actually, one of it I did, but that's a different reason. So I'll tell you about that then. So this is a like sticker album. Honestly, we probably take this off, but it is really, really cute. So it has like the plastic outside, which is feels like the same material as like one of your regular sticker albums. It's like a thick plastic. Um, you have a string here. I guess you could use this for other things too. And then you have these pockets, which do feel a little bit cheaper than the other albums that I have. They are a lot more like wrinkly and like thin but this is super cute and it looks like it has probably let's just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so 40 pockets this is super cute you could use this to store your kits in it or extra stickers and i really like the foil i'd like to see these maybe um like in the regular size but these this is this is big let me show you against here's a happy scrappy album so that is what it looks like I do prefer like not having a sticker cover I like that this is just like it looks really seamless and pretty but I do prefer like the happy scrappy or like any other albums like inside pockets they're a lot thicker and this is more just like cheap um but it's super cute and I definitely will be putting it on my planner cart and it does have hollow on there then this is the planner society box and I like the kind of like leopardy look but it also kind of looks floral these bags are so loud. Okay. Ooh, okay i don't think i saw any like posts about this oh wow okay there's a lot of stuff here so first there is a scrunchie which is super cute i actually will use this like i'm cute i actually ordered some scrunchies from target and i think one of them was like leopard print so we'll keep that on for the box unboxing here there's a lot of stuff. I don't know if I would have put hollow with this kit. I probably would have went with gold. Um, so hollow is kind of an interesting choice, but I still really like the leopard pattern. Okay, so the first thing here is you get some notepads, which I always do use these notepads. I have a drawer full of different sticky notes, notepads. How many times can I say notepads? Um, and I really love the way everything's packaged and I'm like, oh, so cute. So I'm assuming the next month won't be hollow because I don't think that that one would go well with hollow. I hope it's like gold, but these are notepads and I definitely will use those. I'm going to put those right in my drawer right now because I have like so many planner society like notepads in here. So I'm going to keep that where they need to be. Then you have this here, which is die cuts. And then you have like little like planner words in hollow. There is tabs. I don't open all of these. Patty from planning, planning fancy, I believe. Patty's like the sweetest person in the whole entire world. If you're not following her, you should. I'm gonna link her down below. Um, she does like in depth like unboxings of like these and like different stuff. So you guys should check her out. And she's like so articulate, and she just is like way better at stuff than I am. So I'm gonna leave that link down below. There's some washi cards. There's one of those pen pocket things. You have some sticky pockets. Um, let me know if you guys do want me to like open everything though. You get tabs and then tab headers back here in the clear with the hollow. These are really good quality. They're really thick. Um, you get a, ooh, this is cute. You get a wash, which I'm going to open this one. Um, today's already been a long day, guys. I took like, so we're in a pandemic, right? And, uh, 
Theo had his newborn pictures scheduled for like forever now and I always use the same guy but obviously I don't feel comfortable like taking him to get his newborn pictures done um, I trust the people who would take him oh my god this is so pretty the people that would uh, take the pictures it's just they would have other people coming and I don't trust those other people um, so I took his like newborn pictures in the office today because um, I have my lights here and it was a wreck so as long as I get one good picture I'm be happy though um, and then you have the pen loops. I don't know what this is. I'm thinking it's just like a key ring. But it's like interesting because this is huge. If anybody knows what this is for, because it seems large. Maybe it's something planner. Oh, this is cute. I love this is nice. This versus just having like something like this. This is nice. I could actually like take this off this big loopy thing and I would use this for sure like on my backpack or like on my diaper bag or something that's super cute I don't know what the big circle things for though um then you get this charm which is actually really really cute there's like a lot of stuff going on here let me open it up oh okay because it's two things so you get like a rings little dangle this is super cute like if I was doing a setup with this see now I'm like maybe the hollow does work because you have like the gray tones in here I don't know I'm confused but this would have looked cute in gold too, but I really like this. I'm gonna definitely save these and use these for something else because they are super cute. These are probably my favorite dangles that I've seen her do in the box. You get a pen, which is actually kind of bright for the box, but you have like florals in it. Um, so there's a pen. A lot of people use like the bags and all of the like extra like doodads for like setups. This is the stickers, I believe. Yeah, so you get some like foiled little stickers on matte paper, a lot of like deco-y type stickers. You get some tabs, which a lot of this stuff, what's cool about this though is like, let's say I'm like, oh, I don't want to use, oh my God, this is so pretty. You know what this kind of gives me vibes where I feel like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to say this because I feel like with the hollow, it gives it, like if it would have went gold, it would have gave me spring vibes. But I think if I like take this away, I think that this gives me winter vibes with the hollow and now I'm kind of like obsessed with it okay I'm eating my words okay so then you have some puffy stickers which you never know what to do with but a lot of this stuff so if I don't use it with the setup I save it because like this you could use with any like hollowy setup this you could use with whatever and a lot of this stuff like I'm gonna save like let's say I don't use puffy stickers in my like setups I can save this and then if I'm doing a project later in life with like Bennett or like doing like scrapbooking type stuff I could use these items later do you know what I mean like a lot of them are just kind of like crafting materials which is what I like and I hoard stuff like that like I before even planners I hoarded like planner I'm sorry I hoarded like uh scrapbooking stuff even though I never scrapbook but I like have enough scrapbooking stuff to probably do like 12 scrapbooks so stuff I don't mind hoarding and it's all come in handy like whenever I needed to decorate Bennett's valentine's day box with him i just went into my like craft supplies and i had tons of crap to use all right so then there's the papers which you get double-sided papers super cute see this see doesn't this give you like winter january vibes and now i'm kind of obsessed i would kind of use this as the main paper and then just pull this in somewhere else oh my god this is so pretty okay and then you have the vellum which again you can use like with whatever this one's super pretty Ooh, and then these ones you could really use with whatever Ooh. So it gives me like carolyn vibes and then you get like a floral one see i feel like it's like it's all like leopardy but also like a leopard like floral vibe so you get like one of these laser cut ones Ooh, it's pretty i'm getting like winter vibes here and i'm like digging it so that's the main box i have stuff everywhere guys this is like no joke okay so that's the main box here and then we'll go into like the extra box pieces well, i'm gonna put this back here because i don't got any room okay going to the other like add-ons so they're also doing like a mini kit this month for the first time so I don't know what that entails but we'll find out so this is the um stickers this is just another sticker set I'll open this because it's like its own add-on so if you want like a quick look of like what comes in it so it's kind of like if you use like a smaller planner or like a mini planner and then there's the box society which is like if you use like an Erin Condren or whatever and then these all have hollow foil on them of course my scrunchie I'm so cute all right and these are like folded so you can put them in like a pocket planner I assume these are actually really cute okay and then I'm not opening this but there's also a washi add-on which is super cute 
It really gives me winter vibes. Is anybody else getting like heavy winter vibes from this? Because I'm thinking about I need to do winter setup with that. I want to start doing more planner setups just because I like, I do really like doing them. They just take forever. But like one day I will have all the time one day. So let's go into, let's go into the wax melts first. So the first thing here, this is my second purchase of one of these. And this is a happy wax. And this is a wax melter. And I wanted to show you guys this because whenever I um, posted about wax melts, I used to do like heavy, like scentsy buying. Kirsten used to be a scentsy rep back before she started working for me. And I used to buy Scentsy from her all the time. And then I just kind of like fell off the bandwagon. And then I have two kids, so candles are kind of hard. Not that the one's like really going anywhere. I'm gonna link this down below on Amazon, my like little Amazon store. I'll make like a little wax section. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up, but they also do have a website. Um, but I just like Amazon because it's faster. So there's that. So this is the one I picked up for actually at work. I am gonna get one for for um my office and then downstairs so my office i'm going to use this one because it's bigger and then the one for downstairs like in the order packing area that i sit at i'm gonna get a wall plug-in one um so this is cool because it's one of the only wax warmers i think that it has one of these silicon little like inserts so what you can do and you can order extras of these is you put your wax melts in here and then if you've ever had one that doesn't have this it's such a pain in the butt to like get it out so then you just pull this up whenever it's cool and pop out the wax melt which i think honestly is like worth the money these are a little bit more ex no i guess they're not that much more expensive than like a sensi one but sensi has more like affordable options and there are other options out there and the other cool thing about this one is there is a three six nine um, hour timer so you could set it and forget it and it's not going to stay on for forever um, but this is the marble one I believe this one sold out as of now I bought um, <clears throat> a different like color one it's the it's that new pattern that's like everywhere and the wall plug-in one but I'll link these down below so you can see like what options they do have they do have like I said a standalone website which they do sell wax melts on which I wanted to show you these real quick so I have some um, different wax melts here from two different places that I think smell really good. So I wanted to show you guys. And then we're going to go into some planner stuff. So um, this right here is from Wishes Candle Co. So a lot of these places, like if you don't do wax melts, you could also buy um, candles from them. So this one also has candles. I believe pretty much everywhere that I bought from also has candles. So it came with that card. It came with this little sticker, which, yeah. I do appreciate a place that sends me a vinyl sticker. And then it also came with this little sampler from Pretty Sheepy, which I totally forgot Pretty Sheepy, like, existed. And then there was, like, a little discount code, which it's Wishes 10, if you guys want to place an order with Pretty Sheepy. Um, and I forgot they existed, and then I went and spent, like, $200 on Disney stickers. I have been, like, on a Disney sticker binge because I feel like I'm just, like, living in the, like, I wish I was at Disney moment. So I'm definitely saving that. I probably will use those. I feel like I have like this right where it has like all of my extra stickers but I need one that's just like maybe I'll make well this one's now my like putting my week stickers in but maybe I need to get another small one and make just like a Disney book extra I know but like that's the way that I live so these are the two that I got from wishes and I obviously can't speak to the quality yet. I always use Scentsy melts but they smell really good and I wanted to like I could buy Scentsy but I kind of wanted to like shop small I know Scentsy is like reps and stuff like that but I don't love this one as much as I like this one so this one I don't it has that like bread smell it's called a bag of beignets and it almost has like a little bit of apple in there I feel like but it has like a sweetness to it that I don't really like. It's not the sweetness that I associate with beignets, but I'll still definitely be like doing it up with that one. And if you guys don't know, or if you, this one smells really good. It's really good. So this one's hot, uh, fresh baked churros. So I would recommend this one. So I lean more towards um, like warm baked scents. And then the last ones I got for from Main Street Melts. So I believe this one had their own website and then this one was on Etsy. And I, I love all four of these and I kind of want more. 
I've ordered a couple other ones and I kind of want to just find like one or two places that I want to order melts from and stick to those. So this one is called You've Got a Friend in Me, which is just like a really good scent. Just go on their websites and read because as like whenever I did beauty videos, I cannot do scents. But all of these smell distinctly different, even though all three of these, these three, are all like really warm scents. This one's really good. It has like a really good cinnamon smell to it. And then this one's my favorite adventure is out there, which is odd because it's probably the least warm scent out of all of them. And it has like a lemon kind of, it's like a really warm scent with like lemon hints. And I really like that because it's going to smell so fresh, so clean. So those are the wax mounts. And then let's get into some planner stuff. And then I'll show you my last bit of like non-planner items. I did a poll if you guys want to see like planner stuff and you guys said, yeah. So here we are. Um, I have like a lot, a lot of stuff. So the first thing here is I have an order from Letters to Apollo. And I actually ordered some stuff for Kirsten in this as well. And I already used like one sticker from here. Um, but I gave the stickers to Kirsten and I already had hauled this. And I formatted my card and the footage is gone. So there were these two little journaling cards in here. And then she also went ahead and sent me a like a two page kit here. I don't know if this is like her mini kit format or what. So this is like just like a little two page kit with rose gold foiling. Um, and this is called Macaron. So it's very pink. And then I just went kind of a little ham on the scripts. I have a bunch of orders open and coming with her shop. So I do have, um, some scripts here so the only thing i'm going to say is, is if you use our scripts a lot and you want to kind of like mix hers in which i feel like it looks good together because they're both like thicker scripts like let me show you one of our scripts like i feel like the scripts are like not the same at all like they're definitely a different style but i feel like because they're both thicker i feel like they look good together if you're going to use them together i would definitely pick up the light gold i feel like the regular gold is way too hot it does match some other shops gold, but I feel like our gold is more, let me show you. I have like a mixed metal one here. Our gold is more of a like champagne -y light gold, which I do prefer. Um, so I did just ask her for like all of my open orders just to replace them with the light gold. I might in my next order go through and see like all of the sheets that I have in the hot gold and then replace them with the light gold because I'm just that extra. So I do have in my head, I have Tired AF, and like I said, I did order some sheets for Kirsten too, but I already gave them to her. And then um, Disney Plus, Costco Run, and then um, a moving script, which I'm not moving like anytime soon, but maybe in the future. So I figured, you know, planner people gotta plan ahead. Then I have some stuff here from Sadie Stickers. We'll just stay on the foil train. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm already at 18 minutes, and I asked if you guys like 30-minute hauls. <laughs> Whoops. So the first thing, maybe I'll just put this up. Maybe you guys like, because I feel like I still have a lot more to go. Or maybe I'll do like a two-parter for this one, because this is long. I need to start like keeping track of how long haul bits are, so I can be like, this is the beginning, this is the end. I feel like I just talk a lot. So this is a Sadie Stickers order, and this is the little freebie here. It's pink and gold. I feel like that would maybe match this. Oh, no, because it's rose gold, so that doesn't match at all. But super cute. And then for this, I just ordered... So she was doing... She does, like, foil bundles. And I mentioned, I think, in my last haul that I like the options that she gives for... I can't tell the difference. Are these the same? No. What the heck? Oh, I see. These are the same. Um, Maybe they are. Did I buy... Or no, those are three. I don't know what the heck maybe there are three there's like a okay there's like three foil bundles here I might have gotten two of the same ones but they look kind of different this one looks warmer okay I don't know anyways she does like foil bundles and I picked up these I don't know I feel like these look different but then they look the same and this is like a copper copper hollow Anyways, let me just show you what one bundle looks like and then we can just, I can figure this out later. So, this is what a bundle looks like. Is that everything? Here. Okay. So, I ordered these. I don't know what foil colors I got, but her bundles are super cute and I kind of like them 
as like using it with like a mixed metal so this one I might pair with like a silver or something um, and then you can kind of like make this last like two spreads with this stuff and then you can do like a mixed metal spread um, so I used to order like different stuff like I'd order more of these but I find that I only really like like two of each of these in a spread otherwise it starts looking like a bunch of boxes everywhere so you do get the bows on the top the bows on the corners for the full box overlays the um, bow bottom washi which you can pick all this up out of the cart if you don't like use something but I just feel like the bundle kind of like just works um, weekend date numbers and the uh, bows I don't use weekend banners really or the bows but I feel like I like having the date numbers because I like when I do a mixed metal, I'll do this on the bottom washi and then a, the mixed metal on the second part. And then the second part, I'll do the top. And then I like having the second color of the number. So that makes sense. And then also the icons. And I feel like with this, you can really just get the look and then you do like a mixed metal spread and it all works. I really have to figure out like what I feel like I could tell the difference in the icons. The rest, I just can't. I have to figure it out. Maybe whenever I don't look under studio lights, but you could tell that this one is more of like a champagne gold hollow, and this one might be more like a hot gold hollow. So I'll have to like look into that and see. And then also from Sadie's stickers, I did pick up some of her albums, um, and I picked these up because I do have my happy scrappy ones, but I'm trying to like make my planner area have like a look. And I picked up three of these, even though I only use one large album, but I might use two of them and then I'm gonna or maybe I'll just use one of them I don't know I just see what I ordered because she did come out with the regular size ones like after I already placed these but I am like getting stuff together probably in like a month because I'm waiting for everything to ship um to do like a really big like two person giveaway so I might just keep one of these and like whichever one I think looks the best with like my like little planner cart area and then get rid of and like the giveaway like the other two so i did get these which are larger they're like the kit size ones these are really nice um and they just look so beautiful so this one says planner martha on it and then you have the marble with the uh gold bow and dot which these you can pick your foil color and then this one says stickers and supposed to look like a diptyque candle so those are the albums let's go ahead I have how much more do I have let's go into some more non planner stuff so I did pick up some cards I picked up one that I can't show you because it's for somebody who will be watching this and I really want to get like a really cool card organizer that like fits most cards so if you guys have any suggestions of something that's like really good for card organizing I'm a card hoarder um I like to have like cards but I also forget to like write cards so it's like a whole conundrum so these are from I'll leave them linked down below because they don't have their thing on here. Actually, it might be on the back. So these are super cute. And the reason why I got these is because, oh yeah, here. It's called Looky Here and I got them on Etsy. Cake, yum yum, getting old. So funny. This, I actually didn't order this one. They, um, I ordered one that was sold out and then they refunded me and they said they were just going to send me. They asked if I wanted like what card I wanted and I was just like surprise me because they were sending one as like an extra. Um, so they sent me this one, which is super cute. I could definitely use this for like Nick's brother or something. And then I picked up this mermaid one, which is super cute. And then this is the one I like purchased. Like the reason I made the purchase is because this is like Ludo from the labyrinth and then a birthday cake and a balloon. And I was like going on a mad like Ludo hunt and I got the cutest Ludo. I will have to show you him. He was very expensive, but I feel like very worth it. And then I also got in a little order. It's just really funny. And this is also from from Etsy and I was just like looking at different vinyls and this is the um, website but I got it on Etsy so you can shop either but I would shop off Etsy obviously if I didn't know that they had a regular shop because Etsy kills people with fees so this is what I ordered so this says survivor of the TP crisis 2020 and so I got these because I keep boxes of mementos for the boys and I want to put one of these in their boxes just to kind of like commemorate the time um, and I thought these were kind of cute because they look like little like Boy Scout badges or something. Um, and this uh, shop, their vinyls are more like glossy and less like that weatherproof matte, but like for what I'm using it for. And then I just got one for myself because obviously if I was placing the order. Um, they have a lot of like state park type stuff, so it's a lot more like outdoorsy, which I'm not. But I really liked those for like commemorating the times and I'm just going to put them in their little boxes and then they can, when they're bigger, they'll be like, oh mommy, what's this about? And I'll be like, oh, well, let me tell you. Then I have a small order in from Crest Press. I ordered two of her kits. She has a lot of experience. 
exclusive art, which is super cute. And she showed me these, I think, before she even released them. Um, and I was like, oh, super cute. So let's go ahead and show you guys these. So I kind of, I placed an order with so much crafting for a like little B6TN that I want to use inside of my B6 planner. It's a long story, but too long didn't read is that I um, want to do like other spreads, but I just my memory spreads, but I don't like know what. I feel like I've had this conundrum before where I want to do like other planner spreads, but not like my planner I don't know I'm just like really into like shopping right now so the first thing is you get some freebies so I don't know if these are what she includes in everything so there are three here so you have a full box overlay with some rainbows and then some like rainbow stuff here which her rainbow is her logo and then these are like full boxes so love create inspire and then just like a regular full box one and then this one's in a uh, sparkly hollow and says just a girl with goals and then this one has like coffee rings on it in the hollow so i picked up these two kits here and uh, in her premium mat which is super cute and this is the first one. So both of these, I believe, are exclusive art. And I just want to use these in my um, other planner. So I don't know what I'm going to use that other planner for, but we will see. And she changed her fonts to kind of like a more like scripty font. And I like like circles in this. So that is the first kit. And then there was the option, like you can add on tall girls. So I added on a tall girl. Um, and then it looks very like Blair Waldorf and then I also added on the 15 millimeter strip which did come with like two strips even though like because there was no option and I was like oh well whatever I don't really care if it's blue or pink but it came with both so I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one but we'll see maybe I can stretch that into like two B6 spreads and then this one is play at home the other one was the mimosas and this one's super cute as well I just really like the Disney stuff like aka the one thing this is like a stay at home kit I thought there'd be blue in here super cute i don't know i just ordered these like without like thinking really but i'm not sure <sighs> i had to bring in a bunch of mailers from outside so i think i was saying that i don't know if i'll buy like the full kit if i'm just gonna be doing b6 spreads because it seems a little excessive but i didn't know what i was gonna do with this so i just bought them so here's those and then i think they came with these are the same thing so i don't know I think maybe it just there's just like an extra one in here. Okay. Yeah, I think that there's just an extra one thrown in here. And then this is to replace the girl on the washi. And then there's also this one with the Bible on it instead of the uh, journal. So that is... And then I added this guy on. So that's my order uh, from Cross Press. So out of breath. And then I have an order and also some stuff I printed from Once More With Love. You guys don't know me and Marg or BFFs. And... She is my fave. I feel like it smells like rain now. So I showed these on Instagram, so I want to show you guys again. I ordered a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So my journaling card here. So that is this little freebie journaling card. And then I will show you guys my order. And then I'll show you guys my little printed out stuff. So this is the freebie for April. I have a bunch of these now and then this was the stay at home freebie so this was a freebie i think if you spent like 20 or 25 dollars um during this release and then now she also offers this like if you want to just purchase it and it's super cute then i did purchase some of the mini occupations just because i feel like obviously they're great for people who are like in these occupations but they're also good for like example this one says teacher it could be good for like bennett school stuff and you know there is the call center dispatcher the driver, the paramedic, fast food worker, chef, waste collection, handyman construction, pharmacist, hotel receptionist, farmer, which I thought was so cute, lawyer, plumber, nurse, lab tech, and FedEx employee. Oh, there's another one and UPS employee. So those are just some of the um, occupation ones. I think I might have skipped a couple of them, but I'm not sure. But I thought all of these, like I obviously don't work in any of these fields, but I feel like they could be used for other things as well. 
And then I also ha got the food delivery ones because we have been getting some food delivered. Not actually a lot. I think we've had maybe two or three deliveries in the pandemic. And then also online grocery order, which I have done a lot. I actually haven't ordered groceries recently because we've just been picking up food because... I'm tired and then sew by hand which I'm actually waiting for this one because I sewed a bunch of stuff um, a couple of weeks ago a lot of things that need to be patched and then like a couple of pairs of Bennett's pants that are too short but still fit them in the waist so I turned them into like little cut off shorts and sewed the tops like the flip up things then I also got the Lego ones because I've always loved Legos pick up food takeout which we do do pick up more than we do delivery drive through which we do do quite a bit and then curbside pickup, which we do do for Target sometimes. And then also more of the Munchkin Baby ones. I thought I didn't have a lot of these, but I do. So now I have more. And then more of the Teddy Bear ones because um, Theo, Teddy, gonna be using these for him all the time for forever, I think. Like literally until he's like old. Actually, probably forever, forever and ever. And then I also printed out these, which Marg made me cute little customs. These aren't coming to my shop or to hers because they are customs of me. So um, these are just for me. And these are uh, me with little Tio and Bubba. So I printed out four of those. Well, Kirsten printed a cut. So thanks, Kirsten. And then I also printed out these, which are just little like family portraits of me, Nick, and the boys. And I printed them out in large and small, like little uh, clusters. And then I also printed out these, which are um, like me packing orders. And I just think I'm so cute as a munchkin. I love me as a munchkin. I love me as a munchkin. Is that everything? I have like a huge Erin Condren haul to film, which you'll actually see before this. But I think that is everything. So I hope that you guys liked this portion of the haul. I think I have room for one more portion and then we will call it a day. Okay guys, I'm here with part two of this haul and then I'm going to cut it because I have like 70 orders on the way. Like, no, not, not exaggerating. Like literally 70 orders on the way. Whew. Maybe more. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into these items today. I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. I have some stuff off camera. Um, but let's go ahead and get into some uh, planner items first, I think. I don't know if I'm going to continue showing non-planner items or like loosely planner items. But I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. And it makes my hauls longer. And like I feel like that's like kind of fun. So I actually got this quite a while ago. I ordered it a while ago and then it shipped really really fast so I, I totally forgot to show it in the last portion um actually I might have forgot to show it in my last haul because um I'm just a noodle so let's go ahead and get into it this is from cloth and paper and they make like stationary items like planner inserts and such so it's very like modern and chic and I actually signed up for their like mystery box. The only thing is though is that their B6 sizing isn't the same as everybody else's which is a little annoying because I feel like I can't use other people's B6 stuff with it and I'm setting up a B6 planner. So I ordered this, I don't think it says when I ordered it, but it shipped really fast and it got here really really fast. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. There were a bunch of freebies in here. So there was a card that says your like to-do list with like a to-do list on the back. And then there's like this like, instead of saying like, I'm sorry, I'm like saying thank you for waiting. And then there's this, that's like another type of like card. And then like a thank you card. And then this like May freebie, which are like headers, but like smaller than headers and on like a thick paper. So I don't know what they're for, but I like their like color palettes. I think they're really like, chic and sophisticated as I try to be with my life and just fail miserably. So um, I did get some of their uh, see-through flags because these are like all the rage right now is like transparent stickers, transparent flags, transparent everything. Everyone's doing transparent stickers right now which are super super cute. So I got those. They're just little page flags. I got this because I do use a eraser in some of my planners. So they sell this like eraser stick, which is actually so dang handy. And it comes with like a little extra eraser. I got some of their transparent sticky notes. Cause like I said, all the rage. Oops, I think this was on backwards actually. All the rage. So those go there. Oh, maybe because it like covered that, they like took it off. But these are like, they're kind of plasticky. So I'm interested to see how I can write on them, but we will see. And then I got this, which is a sticker. It's again, transparent, you know. 
so trendy here so these are stickers and i thought they were just like one sheet of stickers but it's actually like a full-blown like pack of stickers so again transparent so corners tape squares and hexagons and dots and this is in the rose colorway again i really just like the way that they have everything like the way it looks i just feel like so modern and chic when i got this order in and then like i said i wanted to set up a b6 planner i'm actually going to be doing a few setup videos in the future because i have some cool ideas that come in in my brain so the first thing i have here is one of their dashboards which this is on like it feels like nars packaging you know that like that like matte plastic kind of feeling so it says whatever you do Whatever you do for work or play, do it with passion, Christian Dior. And I just thought that was really pretty. And it's going to look so chic and gorgeous in here. And then I also got some of their inserts, which are beautifully packaged and printed. Their black is like so black. One. I got some schmutz on this, but it's just so nice. And this is the 2020, and this is just gorgeous. Like, I want to, like, get into it now. Tiki is sending me a B6 planner. I thought I had one, but I might have like, gave it to Amanda or something. So um, she's sending me a B6 planner to set up. And then I'm also setting up a planner for Brie. Um, she thinks I'm just, like, sending her a planner with inserts, but I'm, like, going to do a full setup for her. So I really like their inserts. I also got, so I got that one, which is, like, the weekly 2020. I got some note paper. It's always nice when you don't have to print your own inserts. This is just a monthly. Because you're like, oh, that one, other one had a monthly. But I like having, and this one is one that you can, like, separate the month which is cool i like having a monthly for specifically youtube videos i've been using like a digital calendar but it's kind of a pain in the butt so not really into it for that and then i also got this which is like hobonichi style so you have the week over here and then the grid which is how i've been planning work so i liked this option and i feel like the b6 is a cute size so really excited about this order from cloth and paper and like i said i did sign up for their subscription for the b6 size let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that while we're talking about planners i found this in a drawer in my house like I'm, i think i got it before i went on a vacation or something and i was like cleaning up for some reason and i think i just shoved it in the drawer because i'm a dum dum um and then i also have I don't know why that's in there this here so these are from print pression i actually have a so i have he's printing inserts for me because he is now a um authorized printer for Jesenia printables along with any plans so you can get uh their inserts printed by kane and he sends them to you and it's fantastic so um this is one of his metallic tns so this is um has strings obviously i don't remember oh yeah he sent me this because you can like i think you can do this right yeah, so you can like use this as a cover for his B6. I think these are base B6 size notebooks. And this is a black notebook. And this also has a Jesenia design on the inside. So this is a week on a bunch of pages. So how this works is, is you have um, your week kind of like Hobonichi style over here. And then you have dailies with today's, a little hourly section. And then these are the width of the Erin Condren. I hope you guys can see this. So then you just have like a week and then it starts over. And then also there is in the beginning, let me see if I can find it. There is a monthly section. So super, super cute. And he has a lot of different designs and hardbounds and he's been running sales recently. So definitely check him out. And that is Kane from Print Pressions. I'm trying to like be really good about like leaving everything in the description so i hope that that's been helpful um let's go in to a non-sticker item order non-planner related order and this i'm so excited about and you guys can kind of like give me guesses on what you think i'm going to use it for but if it works out i'm going to do a whole video on it but this is like a, a leather punch so kind of hype about this i bought it off of amazon i'll link it down below but if it works out i will do a video and i am so excited i have like a lot of things i should be doing today um but i feel like i might just want to like play with this today and then if it works out i'm going to do a whole video on it so leave me your guesses in the description i should probably save the instructions because i'm not handy um also along the like non-planner items i guess line but like kind of like it's sort of is i ordered some vinyls these are from brandy lane and i believe that this was on etsy there was a huge sticker sheet you got as a freebie which is super cute i don't think i'd use these in my planner but i mean she's not selling these as planner stickers but i'll have to find a really cute way to use those and then i did pick up some vinyls from her so she has disney and 
inspired vinyls. So you have this one here, which is like Peter Pan inspired, which is super, super cute. You have the mermaids and then the ship and the rainbow and then the island. And then you have this one here, which is like Carousel of Progress inspired, which I thought was really cute and kind of sad because Carousel of Progress are they revamping it or are they getting rid of it? I don't remember which one, but it's kind of sad because I always really liked when Bennett was little, like, and it was really hot out, either Carousel of Progress or going to, um, People Mover is, like, the best because the air conditioning is so good. And then this one here is, like, Epcot slash, like, you got Figment there, super cute, um, inspired, which I think that is adorable. So I got those. I don't really know what to do with vinyls. I just, like, really, like, I'm a collector of vinyls. It's kind of how, like... I was with like stickers as a kid now I'm a vinyl collector and I have nowhere to put all these vinyls I put them anywhere I can um, um, but yeah so there's that so this is from wish upon magic I've ordered from them before and they are also on Etsy and you guys have also ordered I know a lot of you guys I see in the halls they're like Andrea showed this shop and I'm like yes so this is um, an order from that shop um, whenever you order they do have like a listing for each item but then they have like a bundle option which you do save some dollars which is a great um, option so I did pick up three of their new stickers on the clear paper which is really cool so you have it on clear like matte paper so this one here has the castle in a little terranium like metal thing and then you have these which are kind of based off of the walls which are super cute I love the purple wall purple wall is probably my favorite wall and then I got all of these which are all new I believe to the last time I ordered so they're all like Disney inspired I kind of wish she would do like I like these but I feel like I wish she would do even if it's like limited run I'm assuming it's a sheet they um, do a like larger version I would pay more for a larger version so you have the Mickey fries you have like a little Mickey um, ice cream sundae a Mickey cacti um, a Mickey on toast a little like Mickey like which I think these this one would be so cute like larger I'd be so into that and then you have like a little frozen lemon one a peppermint Mickey ice cream cone and then also just like a Mickey hot chocolate so these are super cute and you can kind of see the sizing but I guess like the nice thing about them being small is you could put a lot of them in a small place which is super awesome we'll head back to the planner area so I did um I, do I not have like those many I feel like my I'm like on the zone with like spitting fire with like talking fast so let's go in to my paper and milk order you guys know I love Denise of paper and milk and she recently I think I hauled one time since she's changed her paper so you have the freebie which is on her old paper then you have um, some of these, which I think a lot of these I didn't pick up before or I picked up extras, but um, I like using these to mark filling orders, so obviously I had to pick up five, and I feel like the colors might be the same, like the way she sent them in, but maybe they printed different, but I like that because it's a variety to the matte ones that I have, so I really like the sizing of these. I feel like she made her stickers maybe possibly a little bit smaller, which is cool, and then these ones were sold out last time I ordered, so these are movie snacks, which are super cute. I always like whenever Nick and I were in high school we'd go to the movies I'd always get a slushy I don't get a slushy anymore because I don't uh, the Alamo Draft House doesn't have slushies and I only go to the movies at the Alamo Draft House I am like the worst if I go to the movies anywhere else um so I don't ever get that but it's kind of nostalgic and maybe we'll take like the boys to like a non-Alamo movie one day just because there's less rules and I feel less bad but I also love the Alamo because of the rules. So then there's the makeup sheet. You have the chopstick sheet which is great for marking like any Asian food. Then you have the burgers and fries which is super cute. She did change this. It used to be pink which I do like the gray. It'll match way more. There is the Larry Planter. I found myself, like, I always thought in my life, like, I was a really big Harry Potter fan, and I feel like I am, but I feel like I'm more of a Disney fan in my adult life, and as, like, a teenager, I was more of a Harry Potter fan. Um, I don't know why. Does anybody else feel like they kind of flip-flopped? Then the Magic Friends, which I bought one sheet before, but I figured whenever I can go back to Disney, I'm going to be going through those quite a bit. And then I also have these Super Happy ones, which are quite adorable, and then the Pool ones, which I love these. These colors are so beautiful the pool day ones I don't know how often I'll use like the script ones because I'm not big on like characters and scripts together but they are cute so maybe I could just put this like on the bougie area instead of like having a label behind it and that would be cute because I do really like the pool noodle I think that's cute and the character kind of unique and then also these sleep nap stickers and then the bath time stickers which I go through these a lot um then we'll go into a non-planner item oh my god I'm so obsessed if you guys 
follow me on life with draw i don't know if i'm gonna continue doing like um if i'm gonna continue doing like non-planner stuff in hauls i don't know i don't know if you care but I feel like I found my, like, wax melt piece already with this, like, company. This is the Pink Barn House. And I think Viv actually suggested this, like, brand to me. They are on Etsy. Um, they did do a resale yesterday where I spent way too dang much money. I honestly have never felt embarrassed by the amount of money I've spent. And I've bought in a lot of expensive things. But for some reason, spending, like, upwards of $300 on wax melt seems wild. But I feel like... If it's just like a restock base, then I'm going to just like buy and then I'll just buy like if she has new stuff. But I just don't, I just think everything's so cute. And honestly, I don't think, I don't know if I mentioned the last like time I did a wax melt like portion is I feel like a lot of wax melts, like their branding's so boring. Like nothing draws me in, but for like the branding and the way this like person takes pictures, like everything looks so appealing because everything's bright and colorful and like just cute. So, and the scents are, like, fire. Like, it just, just so, so, so good. So, I already burnt one, but let's go through these. Because you could just tell by smelling them in the container that they are amazing. It's funny because I opened this one first, and Nick's like, did you order ranch? And I'm like, no, I didn't order ranch, but it does look like ranch. Especially, like, it was, like, dark. So, let's go through these. And I think the way that I want to do this is I am going to tell you the scent and what they say the scent is supposed to smell like. And I'll tell you if it sounds right. Because in the last portion, I did put, like, a little description here. But I feel like that's kind of boring. So, this one's called Fruity Loops. And just how stinking cute is this? And this one says sweet orange, tangy cherry, and sweet vanilla bean inspired by Fruit Loops cereal. And this smells exactly like Fruit Loops. It has that, like, lemony scent. It smells like almost a mixture of Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. Which I do love Fruity Pebbles. It's a little more lemony than Fruity Pebbles though. But I love this. It smells so dang good. Like these are the most bestest. And I have other ones here too. Like I have I think four different shops that I've purchased from now. And these are by far the best. And then these are the larger ones. Which I feel like are more likely in stock than the small ones. I feel like these are. These you could still put like a whole one in. So I don't really know. I guess like people want the cheaper ones because then you can burn different ones more often i don't know or maybe like these these could actually fit probably better in like the smaller wax melt ones i don't know let me know in the comments down below so this one's called monkey banana nut bread a warm aroma of fresh break fresh baked bread of ripe banana blended with cinnamon spice walnut sugar and vanilla <gasps> like how cute is this bennett's gonna love this and it smells exactly like banana bread. Like, literally exactly. And then Nick smelled this, and he's like, did you know that that, like, fake banana smells how bananas used to smell? And I'm like, Nick, no one cares. And it smells so good. And, like, how stinking cute is this? It just makes me so happy. And I feel like it's the little things in life that, like, I need to, like, have to make me, like, I don't know. Just I'm just thrilled. I'm going to probably burn all of my other melts here and then take these home and burn them just because they're so fun. And then this one here is called, um... What is this one called? Magical Mango Papaya Smoothie. And there's so many, like, Mickey references and a lot of her, like, or Disney magical references in her products. And this one is an uplifting tropical blend of sun-kissed mango and juicy papaya. And that's, like, exactly what it smells like. This one smells a little bit more artificial than the rest of them do, but Nick really likes this one. I'm not a huge fan of Fruity Scents, but I got it with Nick in mind, and he really liked it, so I was really excited about that. And then last but not least, this one is actually my favorite, and I ordered three more of these then. This one's called Cinderella's Magical Night, and whenever I ordered these, there wasn't that many in stock, so I just, like, ordered one to kind of try it out. And I normally go for, like, bakery scents, and I said that before, but this one's actually my favorite. And this one says, a fruity fragrance with wild strawberries, sparkling champagne, um, on a base of soothing musk and sandalwood. You also, if I have to read these, like, you're going to be able to tell that, like, I am the worst reader in the world. Like, m my brain and my head don't work the same, so, like, the words flip, like, what I'm reading, and it's kind of hard. And also, like, with filling orders, it's sometimes hard, because it's just hard to, like, I don't know. I think everything, like, flips. That's just me. So this is, um, this is like one of the most amazing scents. Like if I could get this in a perfume, it's just, it smells like a perfume. And like, look how much glitter is on it. Like, doesn't this make you happy? Like it makes me so happy and it's just the little things in life. And I just feel like if I get, like when I get that big order and I would need to do like a whole wax melt haul and I don't know if anybody cares. So let's go into some more planner stuff. And then I do have some wax melts for the end because there's another one that I ordered. They don't have any like set description, so... 
that will be easy. So I did get an order in from Grin and Barrett, and I haven't ordered from Grin and Barrett in a while. And I thought this was hilarious. I, like, opened it at home and chuckled, and Nick was like, what? And I'm like, it doesn't matter. So it says, what a haul, what a haul, what a mighty good, oh, mighty great haul. Like, how funny is that? Love it. And then this is Grin and Barrett. So I do use their stickers quite often. I actually met the shop owner, I believe, at the wonton party. So these are just little die cuts. I think these were little freebies thrown in, like little Cinderella-inspired die cuts. And then this was the, like, order freebie that was thrown in. And then there was also a little berry uh, vinyl that was thrown in, which was really cute. I think I'm going to put this on, like, a pencil case of Bubba's or something because it's so cute. Then I have my order, which I hadn't ever ordered these. Or maybe they were new. I don't I don't think they were new but these are like the little emotion like emoji type stickers then I got the Dumbo ones which the large ones are kind of large on some of these sheets but I just cut them down or like I'll save them for a half box but I do quite prefer the smaller size and then there's this one which is just like keys coffee and a little sunglasses which I'm actually gonna put this in my shopping area because I think this would be a cute way to mark Target when I can go back to Target just because I kind of walk around Target with my little wallet and my iced chai. The same thing here. I might mark this, use this to mark shopping because I don't really drive anywhere else. Um, then the love berries. And this one's so cute. This reminds me of Theo. Oh my god, I love them. And then the little poo, and the little dog. And then this one I got just because it's Nick, you know. And then this one, which is like where the wild things are. And then you have the little Pascal tangled. And then again, the little uh, Cinderella. I don't remember Gus Gus and I don't remember what the cat's name is, but there's that. And then last but certainly not least, I do have some stuff that I printed. So these are printables by Plan So Cute. Let me zoom you guys out. So I actually didn't print and cut them, Kirsten did, because I just mean a silhouette. I haven't done it in a long time, and it's not my thing. So Plan So Cute, and she, uh, again, I'm assuming, but they have a Etsy shop, and they do sell some printed stickers, but they sold some printables as well and I decided to pick up these two printables just because I thought they were really really cute so this one's all like Disney inspired park stickers and then this one is um like princess and villains which I just think are adorable I hope that they come out with more of these and it's nice because they are in three different sizes on here which I do really appreciate and this one has a bunch of deco at the bottom and this is so so cute so there is that and then last but not least I do have oh no just kidding I have this one here from pop and roll who also sells um those were like actually set up as sticker sheets but pop and roll sells like digital graphics so you can purchase them and make like whatever you want with them you have to check the commercial license for selling though they do offer a commercial license but it's like per item um but i just got i ordered all of their digitals and just made sticker sheets with all of these magical mickey inspired snacks and foods i love the gray stuff i just think that's so cute i thought gray stuff would be really nasty but gray stuff tastes very good and then I also have some customs from Marg. She did some customs for me again, and these are super cute. These are little Theo and Bubba's, which I just love. And Theo's hair is currently dark, but I have a feeling it's going to turn blonde, which kind of is a little bit sad, but like kind of okay. And then last but not least, I do have this, which I think this is actually kind of, I feel like the wax melts, some of them are like great gift ideas. So maybe you're just like bored and you can appreciate that. So this is from the Burning Magnolia Co. And I just ordered some candles from them and also some wax melts just because... Did I order this many candles? I don't think so. Did I mess up? Did I order something wrong? Let's see. So the first thing... No, I feel like there's... No, maybe I did. Okay. So there was some freebies in here of tea lights, which I just think is really cool that they threw in freebies. I'll go through those last. So I got these. Um, these are really cute, I think, as, like, presents. Like, especially this one, Let's Stay Home. It's so, like, current times. Um, and this one is Lemon Pound Cake. And I just think these are super cute and rustic. These don't have... This one smells good. It's very, like, light scent. And this, again, is Lemon Pound Cake. It's not, like, in your face. But I feel like these would be really cute little, like, presents. You could, like, make, like, a little gift basket and leave it on somebody's doorstep. I think that'd be really fun. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Mahogany Coconut. I love baked scents and then like smells like a man who just put on a ton of cologne scents and that's what that style smells like. Again, none of these are like Bath and Body Works like in your face thick scents, but I feel like if you like them a little thinner, this one's a little thicker. When I say thicker, it just means like more potent, more in your face. This one is Blueberry Cobbler. 
Mmm, it smells delicious. And then this one's oatmeal cookie. Mmm, this one's this one smells amazing. This one's kind of like Bath and Body Works type in your face scent. And then I did get one of their wax melts in baby powder because I hadn't seen baby powder anywhere else. And I do love the smell of baby powder. And this smells exactly like baby powder. Baby powder actually kind of reminds me of my grandma, which is weird, but. There's that, and they did send me some little tea lights, which I don't, I don't know when I would use these. Can I just like pop these out and put them in my wax warmer? Let me know in the comments down below. So there's coffee shop, which I actually wanted to smell this because in the description it said that this smelled like Starbucks, which actually does smell like Starbucks. A lot of coffee smells like really artificial, but this does smell like when you walk into a Starbucks, which is really nice. And it, you can get um, any scent in these like, like fun labeled ones and I think they do have like packs oh this one's good too brown sugar and fig I wouldn't have thought to like buy that one but this one's really nice I feel like this would be a really good these are also these would be nice for like hostess gifts to like have a couple like hanging around and then just bring them whenever you go to parties I know none of this is applicable right now but like mm, this one's good too nutmeg spice this is more like up my alley of like scents and they don't have scent descriptions because I feel like their names are pretty like easy to like think about so that's everything in this haul is quite long but i know my hauls are going to be long for a while so i hope that you guys like a long haul um let me know what you guys think of the wax melts in here or if you guys want me to do a wax melt haul of all of these when they come in and just see how cute they are let me know or if you just don't care if you want to see them on instagram but a lot i'm gonna have a lot more stickers a lot more stickers coming in guys i'm just like waiting waiting and i'm so excited so that's everything i hope you guys like this video and i will talk to you guys in my next one